In this chapter, we'll look at a definition of what is an urban sustainability tool. Let's start with a definition by breaking down the, the name, urban sustainability appraisal tool. First with urban, we're looking at the built environment beyond individual buildings. There are a whole host of sustainability rating tools that have been developed over the years for buildings, green buildings. Uh, LEED is a very popular green building rating system. But in this course, we're looking at things beyond the individual building walls that occur at the neighborhood and district and entire city level as, as well as their components. The second part of our definition is sustainability. And what we're talking about there, of course, is well-being for future generations able to sustain themselves uh, using the kind of resource efficiencies that we hope to instill at this point. The third term, appraisal, is simply a, a quantitative assessment or rating that occurs when it's applied to a, a given geography. So that it can have a whole host of other characteristics to the assessment, but there has to be at least one quantitative element for it to be considered in, in this category of tools that we'll be going to be addressing. And then the tool itself we're defining as something that's publicly available uh, to either national or international markets. Uh, this is distinguished from a whole host of private uh, proprietary tools that are available. And there are also some great local tools, but in this instance we're going to focus on those that are standalone, publicly available at a national level here in the U.S. Let's also break that word appraisal down uh, just a, a bit more as well. Over the course you'll hear me refer to assessment on the one hand versus rating on the other. Assessment by a tool is simply a straightforward quantitative characterization. It's an absolute value. The number is what it is. Uh, alternatively, some of the tools actually go beyond assessment and perform ratings where you're looking at the assessment results on a relative scale, say from strong to weak, good to poor. The other thing to think about in a definitional sense, back to the word appraisal for a moment, is that some of these tools will be looking at only appraise, uh, they only do assessment or rating and nothing else. Whereas in some tools, and, and we'll focus on this as we go through them, appraisal is only one component of a larger system. An example uh, of the latter is the Eco Districts Protocol, which is actually a process as much as a, as a rating tool. Alternatively, uh, an appraisal only tool, an example there would be Lead for Neighborhood Development. All it does is, is score neighborhoods. So with this definition in mind, here's a schematic of a, a tools roadmap here in the U.S. that we'll be following over the course of uh, the series. And we've organized uh, the tools, as you can see, by the colored uh, circles. First at the upper level, where an entire jurisdiction, an entire city can be assessed or appraised, either their comprehensive plan or current conditions and plans throughout the city. And then dropping down beneath the city level, we'll look at neighborhoods. Uh, on the left there you see the three kinds that we'll look at. There are tools for planned neighborhoods, tools that are applied to existing, and then some tools that will actually apply to all neighborhoods, both planned and existing. And then in the lower right, you'll notice the component systems are broken out. There are tools that are single purpose assessments of either transportation systems by themselves, or in some cases, transportation combined with infrastructure, and then lastly, uh, landscapes and the tools that are devoted strictly to parks and, uh, and landscapes. Now that we've defined appraisal tools, in our next chapter, chapter three, we'll move on to look at what's the value, what's the reason for actually performing sustainability appraisals.